Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark, it's Fan Film Friday. Today I have a movie called Scream V Halloween. I think the V stands for Versus, maybe? It's a crossover fan film. It's 13 minutes and 5 seconds. You can find this on the All Rise Films channel on YouTube. Of course, I'll have that link down below. In the description, there's going to be the link directly to the 13-minute film, which I think is kind of funny. I don't know if they did it on purpose, but you got Scream, Halloween, and then it was 13 minutes long, like Friday the 13th. I'm sure that was just a happy accident. But there are on that channel other fan films, all in the horror genre. Um, there's Camp Forest Green, which is a... Friday the 13th fan film. There are, uh, as recent as just six months ago, a uh, part two of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan film, and that looks really good. So there's a lot of good stuff going on in this uh, little fan universe here on All Rise Films. So make sure you go check that out. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is basically what it sounds like, Scream versus Halloween. We have a very, very classic setup of a um, very Scream-esque film. And uh, it could have easily been one of the Scream films. It's got that look and feel and sound quality to it. And uh, it's got the classic phone call opening sequence. And then things kind of drift a little bit into a Halloween movie universe with Michael Myers kind of like doing that stalker thing that he does. And it's kind of really interesting to see how well they blended these two uh, universes, I want to keep calling them, but the franchises, um, they stay so good, true to like the basics of each of those franchises, but how they melded together and wove through, you know, the, the movie. And, uh, you know, they even, I don't want to be too spoilery, but I mean, if you're thinking of Scream, you know, there's typically more than one ghost face killer so i'll just leave it at that but it's neat to see um the interaction between michael and ghost face and final girl or not or whatever um but it just really they they um do an interesting thing too where they mash up some of the characters names so they'll blend um like a laurie strode and a and a character from uh, screen together or you know like they tweak a few things or the location of where the the scream story is taking place is not necessarily woodsboro or whatever the place was it's haddonfield or you just have to watch it because it's just like eyegasm and ear candy to hear or is it ear candy and eyegasm or is it eye candy eye candy and eargasm yeah, well, this is full of that. So go check it out in the comments down below. Leave a comment on their um, their uh, video that you saw the review here. Uh, give them a subscription if you're into fan films, particularly of horror, because they have a lot of good things going on. I'm not really, I can't remember, because uh, I watched this a little about a while ago. Um, if they have ads, watch the ads. You know, that's my thing with fan films. Watch those people's ads um, so they can get their monetization money back because it's not very much trust me uh and they can recoup some of their uh money for doing such a great job on a fan film let me know in the comments down below what you think of this fan film row 18 plot 20. <laughs> Thank you.